This is perfect wrapped. Ooh, and it has mature written on it. It's gonna be so spicy. It's really nice to see both of them together. So the plan for this week is that today I'll go through some manga, show you guys some stuff, continue reading some series. Yesterday I read this and I loved it. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I believed it was yesterday. No, it was the day before yesterday. See, I am getting my days confused. I don't know. Ever since I started working full time, all I do is look forward to the weekends. As the weekends I get to do the things that I love. But I don't know, maybe I read this on Friday night. Maybe, yeah. Normally I wait until Saturday because on the weekends I just rot in bed and do nothing other than read manga and watch anime and that's it. But yeah, I did read this the other day and I didn't expect myself to actually finish this one in one sitting. I think I started reading this at 12am and I finished at 2. So it was a two hour read. It was actually quite easy. For Thickham, I was expecting to read for like three or four hours but it's actually two volumes in one so it was really easy to read and yeah i really enjoyed it was solid four out of five normally i log my ratings by out of 10 but since i joined goodreads everything is out of five stars it's something that i wanted to read for a long time and i completely forgot about it as i haven't touched my shelves in a long time so um yeah when i saw it i was like right i'm gonna read this today and finish it so i did and basically the story revolves around this girl who's called josie she's 24 years old and this boy who's called zueno and Zueno is a college university student and Josie is a wheelchair bound girl who has never really seen the world. She's been looked after by her grandma but she never really leaves the house as she sees the world as unsafe and it's such a beautiful story where somehow their life get mixed into two and Zuana shows Josie the outside world. As she hasn't seen the world she paints in what she like fantasize the world to be and let me see if i can show you a page that shows that drawings from her perspective of what the eiffel tower is like and that so forth and yes yeah, so beautiful reading the series is very heartwarming as well and i really love the scenes of sueno going diving looking at fishes that's one of his passion the story revolves around sueno trying to get as much money as he can during the summer holidays so that he can afford to do his study abroad and he one day was going home from work and he accidentally bumps into Josie because Josie was falling down from a hill in a wheelchair. Yeah, I know, dramatic, right? And he manages to catch her and in the end, the grandma was like, oh, looks like you have no food, come over for dinner. And she also notices that uh, Sueno doesn't have much money and she was like, oh, come here the next day, I got a job for you. And his job then was to be Josie's caretaker and he has to basically listen to anything what Josie wants. And yeah, it's such a sweet story. It really makes you think that what we complain about, everything's, uh, everything's so minor, not gonna lie. Anyway, I was gonna show you some volumes that I got from Yen Press. So this one actually came about a couple months ago maybe four months ago. I just want to say a huge thank you to Yen Press for not forgetting about me as I know I've been so inactive. So like even in the community, I don't know, does anyone remember me anymore? I remember like, I feel so bad because I used to make videos so often. I still can't believe I used to upload on a weekly basis, but now it's like every other Sunday. I don't even upload on Monday anymore. I used to do manga Mondays. Like so much things have changed on the channel but I'm super excited for what's to come, especially when I do move out and have my own space. Definitely I'll have more opportunity to make more videos, show you more bits of my life, how things are going and that. Like, I really had a great time today filming my, um, how much I spent in 2023. I was able to show you guys how much I spent each month and also how much I managed to save and also factoring in Ami Ami, oh my goodness, Ami Ami. <sighs> It really hit my wallet hard. So yeah, I got this parcel a few months ago. I didn't receive this uh, until recently as I wasn't home for a while. Ah, I cut myself. 
Sorry, my <laughs> my weird voice came out. I just got myself. I got burr burr. I need to be really careful, man. Be careful with your knives and make sure. Ouch. You look at what you're doing. I'm gonna save these boxes. Literally, I have so many boxes piled up in this room to save for when I need to pack up all my manga. Like, ooh, ooh, so, sorry. There's some manga at the front. So let me just show you what I can first see. So the first volume I see is My Gemini. I actually talked about this series when I was in Forbidden Planet last month for Comic-Con. Was it last month? In my day in my life video, I did a manga shopping segment and there was one of these volumes that I was like, oh, what is this? My Gemini. So I am curious. I saw this in store and I was like, I've never seen this before. So this is interesting. So let me just quickly read the blurb for you all. Plain red-headed and freckled John has nothing going for him, except there's one thing he's proud of. He's best friends with the two popular and mischievous twins, Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll, the calm and collected older brother, and Hyde, the cheerful younger brother, love switching places, and John is the only one who can tell them apart. But when the pair is fragmented by an untimely death, one twin is left alone without his other self by his side. The only question is, is he Jekyll or is he Hyde? Oh, this is sting in this little cut. Jeez. Interesting. Okay, I wonder how many volumes this will be, but the thing is... I don't even see volume, I don't see a volume number. Does that mean it's a one shot? It might be a one shot, I need to check up online to see that. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested in this because I'm thinking, not gonna lie, the story doesn't sound like a long series, so I'm curious how this will end. From the blurb, it does remind me a bit like Arisa, one of my favorite series, but yeah. Next series I got is, ooh, I think this is a K-drama on Netflix as well. I need to check it out. Wait, then can I encounter? The Uncun- Wait. I did see it pop up on my Netflix quite a lot and I'm like, should I watch it, should I not? I did see quite a few actors that I like are in it. So yeah, I'll give this read and see how it goes. I always like reading the original before watching anything about it, but is there anything else? So I have this volume called Adults Picture Book, New Edition, volume one. The next series I got is called The K the Tiger Won't Eat the Dragon Yet. Ooh, she looks kind of saucy. <laughs> hey! Dragons are valuable as they are rare. It's said their meat tastes exquisite, their blood can heal any wound, and their hearts grant immortality when consumed. The tiger is lucky enough to capture one, but as she's about to devour the beast, she pauses he's much too young to make into a meal. The tiger decides to raise the dragon herself, and it turns out there's more to him than meets her eye. It's simply natural instincts that draw the predator and her prey to each other. And is it something greater? Wait. So the dragon is a boy? Hold up. I'm not very good at digesting blurbs, am I? Ooh. Okay, I have two more volumes left and one of them is Ite One Class. I'm really excited to read this as well. I did try out the K-drama bit, but I don't think I've ever finished it. I think I watched it in the background. You know, sometimes you put a K-drama on you and you don't really fully watch it. And then I got this volume called I Want a Gal Gamer to Praise Me. Ooh. Ooh. Why does this cover look so saucy? Even the first page looks saucy. One, two, three, four, five, six volumes. That's wild. And then I have one more parcel to go through. This looks like a BL straight up front. So the first one I got is kind of a wolf this is classic wrapped Ooh, and it has mature written on it so this looks like a exciting read gonna need to put this with all my bl stuff now and then next series i got is aria of the beach forest interesting looks very pretty yeah it looks really really pretty Next I have an, oh, another plastic wrap, she's like, what? Your letter. This looks more like a one shot, easy press. Or is it not a one shot? When I can't see a volume number on the spine, I normally go straight to, oh, it's a one shot. But we'll have to see because like sometimes um, there can be misprints. Um, but yeah, I think there was like a misprint even on A Man and His Cat volume five where there's no volume number, it's just green. But I think they um, 
redid that recently. Personally, I like reading one shots as sometimes when you don't want to read a long series, you can just get one over and done with. And especially I'm a slow reader, it kind of is really nice to tick a volume off the list, you know, in the collection. As yeah, today I went through my manga collection and I was like, jeez, I have 50% of my series where I haven't read in my collection. I have so many unread series, it's ridiculous. And then I see two more volumes at the bottom and I see one plastic wrapped again. Okay, this is another mature read. When humanity evolved and gained half human, half animal forms and new social... That's another thing. I don't know how I feel about animal mixed with people, but... If it's a smut, I'll give it a go. You know with Seven Seas, they have the steamship line. There's one that I'm not too fond of. I haven't even read it yet. But I, I'll, I, I'll insert a pic here of what it's called. I, I completely forgot what it's called. Probably it's because I don't have it in my collection. That's why I don't remember it. Oh, it's called Outbride. That's it. I think Outbride. I don't know. The look of it just puts me off. But um, we'll give it a go. I love smut. This looks cute. Could this be a... BL by any chance or a shonen eye to be honest I don't even know the difference between a shonen eye and a BL I always thought shonen eye is not the saucy stuff and BL is we get to the point you know juicy juicy so yeah please do correct me if I'm wrong all my BL fujoshis out there but um yeah I'm looking forward to it. It looks like a slice of life. Like something very chill, easy read. The art style is not too hard to digest either. And yeah, that is all the series I got from Yen Press. That's amazing. I can't believe I have free manga. That's crazy. Thank you so much, Yen Press. It really fills my soul, especially I've been on a buying ban for so long, so I haven't been able to pick up manga for a while. And my buying ban does go until September. So yeah, it's gonna be a few more months till I can buy manga. I'm still saving up still. I met my savings goal, but I'm planning to save some of the money up for my big haul, which can't wait, super excited. But yeah, that is all. I think I'm gonna start going through my laptop now and do a bit of editing and I'll probably update you guys tomorrow when I'm off to work. Basically tomorrow is I'm working from home for a couple hours, then I need to drive to the event and come back, then Tuesday I'm working from home and on Wednesday I'm going into the office and then going straight to London from there which I'm so excited, I'm watching Interstellar. If you love cinematography or just love going to cinema, I really recommend, if you ever have a chance to go to one of the biggest IMAX that you have in your country, UK, we have BFI IMAX, which, oh, it shows 70 millimeter film. That's what I want. And yeah, it was so hard to get tickets with Interstellar, but I'm so happy we got it. It's gonna be a fun week, I think. But yeah, all I'm gonna do for the rest of my day is edit, rot in bed and get ready for my day-to-day -day job. Hey, so today is Monday, start of the working week, back to the nine to five. Well, it's not even nine to five, it's nine to five thirty to be exact. But I'm gonna make some baldac and some steak. I'm having a very lavish lunch, in my opinion. I love a good baldac and steak. And then I'm gonna head off to the event which is about an hour drive. So I'll take you guys with me, but I need to eat first because the meeting starts at two, finishes at five. I won't be able to eat until like 6.30. So yeah, gonna make some food, cut some cheddar cheese as well and some spring onion. Don't mind my pajama bottoms rocking it right now. Um, I hope I don't smell like food when I get there later, but um, yeah, I'm gonna change into some sort of trousers later as I ain't gonna wear a skirt. It's a Hawaiian theme as well today. I ain't gonna wear shorts either. So yeah, it's just gonna be this shirt from Uniqlo that I bought from Japan. Wait for it to get a bit hot. Chapsticks. You know when you're Asian, when you cook for a chopstick, man. Voila. 
food is served, something quick, easy. I'm so excited to eat. It's gonna be so spicy. I have no drink, so it's just gonna be full on water with this. I can't wait to eat this. Hey, so I am driving to the work event and it's pissing down in rain. Google Maps have took me down some country ass roads. Hey, so I just arrived. It is currently 1.58, so just two minutes to spare. So I'm just gonna run off now and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Hey, so I just finished my work events meeting thing. Got some flowers, had some food, and I'm ready to head home. Can't wait to go home. It's actually kind of scary, you know, driving in country roads like this because I'm always scared that a tree might just fall down all of a sudden. Like, is it just me? I'm always thinking of my final destination. Southern California, much like Arizona, my eyes don't shed tears. Hey, so it's been a while since I got home. I got home around nine something, so it's been nearly two hours now and I've just been editing. I'm currently going with, I think you can see my screen, it's not very pleasant. Um, I'm currently going through the final edits and once it looks kind of good, I export it, then I check the video again. If it looks good again, then I upload to YouTube. So there's a few steps I need to do and then I'll schedule it. But yeah, this is like my typical working week. Lately, I don't know if you noticed, I've been trying to be a bit more consistent, even a bit more as in even if it's one video a month and you see me a bit more regular compared to not seeing me for three months or half a year as I'm slowly trying to get back in the game of doing YouTube and just enjoy editing and making videos as I love it so much but it takes so much effort like I don't know I don't know how people edit and film and do everything on top of their nine to five job like I can't for real even like when I travel to London so often I could bring my laptop actually I do bring my laptop I take the, the, my laptop as an opportunity to edit but I always get so busy on doing something that I don't even get time to even edit. At the end of the day, there was no point even bringing my laptop and my hard drives and everything as I never get around to editing as I have just no time. But lately, I've been trying to schedule some time in to do all these things as I just want to be a bit more productive. I noticed as of late, well, not even as of late, to be honest, like this past year so I've been very like reluctant to do things that I like which sounds kind of sad but um yeah I haven't really put an effort I'd rather just sleep and do nothing and I think that's just a sign of being sad but I know I'm no longer as sad as I was I'm actually really happy I'm I'm doing really good for myself yeah I don't know there's something about me that I'm not liking where I'm just rotting in bed like there's no problem with rotting in bed but that's all I do after work and yeah that's that's not really me I used to be like super productive I love planning I used to love journaling as well I still journal here and there as but um, it's not as often. One thing I'm so glad of today is that I made that banging lunch because when I went to the event, like a lot of people went there thinking that they would provide lunch, but actually it wasn't. It was mostly the event meetings and food was provided near the end of the day, which was 7 p.m. Mate, that's a long time to wait, okay, if you haven't had lunch. And I'm so glad I filled my belly up. I always, I always do this because I hate regretting and feeling hungry. I hate that, like, I just get so angry. Like, I get shaky as well. And you know when your mind goes foggy, it makes me feel very unsettled. So making sure I eat, like, oh, it hit the spot as well. Baldac and steak, 10-10. If you like that type of food, I recommend you doing that combo, it's so yummy. Like if you ever had Ramdon as well, Ramdon's really yummy. But um, I think I prefer this more because it's got cheese and I love cheese. The two things I love, cheese and beef, all together, mm, banging. On top, ramen, not very great for like, the, I think the sodium intake, but it is what it is, I enjoy it. But yeah, there's a little update. I think the next time I update you guys is probably tomorrow. Today is a complete write-off. I'll probably read some manga before bed to make me feel good. And then I gotta wake up at six tomorrow, head off to work. And then, yeah, 
that is it i haven't even made lunch for work so i'm gonna have to buy lunch i haven't done my nails like my nails <laughs> my nails look nasty hella nasty <sighs> life this is what a tuesday is like on a typical basis normally on a tuesday i'm always like oh i wish it was a thursday so i can wait for friday look forward to the weekends i'm constantly chasing for the weekends now and it's not really a good thing i used to just enjoy life like every day but lately it's just been like oh weekdays let's just get over and done with already like i'm done with you <laughs> i'm so tired London Paddington. Right, we're gonna tackle this bad boy spot. I don't think you can see it. It's that time for my June pre-orders from Amiami. I am so excited! It is the weekend today. Today is a Sunday. It is Sunday 21st of July. It's currently 2.26 p.m. I'm really starting to vlog very late. Normally I start really early, especially today I woke up at 7 a.m. I know, what am I doing with life on the weekend? Waking up at 7 a.m. Not too sure, but no, I had to run some errands and later in a couple of hours is actually my best friend's wedding. So right now I'm looking haggy, rough. My spot is just hey, saying hello here. And um, yeah, I am not ready. But what I wanna do today is um, show you guys some stuff that I got from Ami Ami. Unfortunately, I had to pay custom charge for this. Like, let me take show you the sticker. I did go over that 135 pound budget, you know? As if you don't know, if you go over 135 pounds, most likely you're gonna be hit by a custom charge if you live in the UK. And that's what happened to me. I think I went up only by like five or six pounds and I was charged 40 pound custom charge and me was not a happy bunny as overall this parcel shipping i think it was like 25 pounds you add the conversion rate is about like 30 something pounds so overall that means this parcel costed me more than 70 quid to bring this over from japan i think if this keeps on continuing i think i need to just book a trip to japan as as i get charged by custom charge and shipping all the time it's just gonna add up one day and it's gonna add up to a point where I'm like, I can buy a flight to Tokyo and basically splurge all my money. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go. As a lot of you guys know already, I've gone down the rabbit hole of Ami Ami. So I do have pre-orders till December. And not just that I have pre-orders to December, I still have multiple parcels coming each month within those months. and yeah i'm kind of worried as i've got so many parcels coming in till the end of the year on top some of them are over 135 pounds well it really depends if the yen goes even more down or not i should really give myself some leeway like space but i didn't i literally went over by either a pound or two or literally on the now 135 pounds maybe some even 134 pounds something i'm literally living the risky otaku life right now where i pre-ordered way too much have nowhere to store or display any of the Nendroids right now, but here's what it is. I have one pre-owned um, Nendroid and then the rest are all, I think, June pre-orders that came out. So I'm really, really excited. July, whew, I am gonna be hit by another custom charge. I know it already. I <laughs> I keep on telling myself not to spend more on Ami Ami, but I keep on opening separate orders. The thing I need to learn is stop going over that 135 pound limit and then ended up buying more and having to open a separate order anyway. So <laughs> I really need to learn on that. But here's what it is. This is my June pre-order. I have a few things I want to show you all as well. Oh, I want to show you guys. I'm going to start this vlog like yesterday. But I ended up being super busy. Like my plan was to rot in bed. But I ended up running more errands and driving up and down and everywhere. But the only productive thing I really did that I felt satisfied was creating my press-on nails. This is basically my birthday nails as my birthday is next week. And also my nails to wear for my best friend's wedding. So I'm going to put those on later. So I need to put some time aside to do that and get ready. But yeah, currently it's only 2.34, so I think I have time, you know? I like to cram things in. <laughs> Within the custom charge as well, Royal Mail does charge an £8 handling fee. So without that £8 handling fee, 
it would have costed me like 32 pounds for customs but actually because handling free it ended up 40 quid so yeah a lot of money definitely not money that i was expecting to spend extra this month but yeah sometimes being an otaku you need to like foresee these issues that might arise in the future but i definitely didn't see that i'll start off with this item first picked up the stand and this is oh it's actually bigger than i expected okay that's nice so this was a pre-order which is a, a sign of affection stand of yuki and itzomi so so cute oh this is gonna look so great on the shelf but i didn't expect it to be this big look how big it is right i need to plan how to put things in. actually my can you even see my sign of affection volumes here they are put it next to them maybe i need to organize my shelf soon so the first nendo i got is my dress up darling and this is a pre-owned item but if you can see from the box nothing looks pre-owned here it looks brand spanking new like even the tape like the box condition is so good as well this was a nendo that i really wanted to pick up but because it came out i think was it earlier this year or even maybe last year i was like oh i'm so sad i missed the chance but i did pre-order the other two nendos from my dress up darling and that i think comes out in like i don't know was it october or was it august i'm getting confused with my months not gonna lie as i have so many pre-orders but i'm glad i managed to pick this up she was a bit more expensive from a typical nendo that i can get but um still well worth i, I don't think it was that expensive to be honest and then the other three nendos i got this it was on pre-order as well and this is jojo joseph joestar oh this box is so nice it's got a really nice pattern you see yeah joseph joestar he looks so cute i wish i can get a jotaro one but i think jotaro one came out a couple years ago <laughs> oh bless me so the other two nendos that i was so excited to get was these two which is jinshi and mao mao from a puff curry diaries if you don't know i love this series a bit so they're gonna look super cute next to the volumes but um yeah this one i feel like i could have waited as after i picked this up i think good smiles announced that there is going to be another mao mao nendo which i wish i kind of held back in picking this up as i like the other one more as it looks so cute but um here's what it is i think i will pick up the other one anyway these two i wasn't expecting myself to get as when i started buying on ami ami all these were already out of stock but one day saved it on my bookmarks refreshed it and then here they were so i was really happy to get both of them together as i noticed with nendos as well not all of them always come with the girl and the guy together normally it's just the guy first so it's really nice to see both of them together and they're gonna look so cute can't wait i need to know where i put my puff curry diaries volumes i can see my volume 10 here but um that's it i don't know where the rest of my volumes are i think they're probably at the back of um kemi sammy kiss i'm gonna do my nails i'm gonna prep them now also i want to check in some manga that i read lately and share my thoughts one of them is oshinoko oh my goodness i read that last night i don't have volume one with me right now as it's upstairs but i need to read this today like definitely today as i read um the first volume yesterday and that shocked me none of you guys prepared me for oshinoko guys i literally thought this was gonna be like a fun like i don't know i thought i knew there was gonna be like dark themes of idol life in this but i thought it was gonna be like a like you know jolly idol life behind the scenes it looks fun right and if you heard the song from yasobi for the series you know it's like proper like it's proper like yeah dancey and i was not expecting the first volume to be like that it actually was kind of depressing i'm not gonna share too much of that because in case any of you guys haven't watched anime or read any of the manga or don't know anything about the premise literally i came into the series blind even though it's super popular in the community and i'm glad i did i enjoyed it to bits and i'm curious how the other volumes are gonna go but yeah i think i'm gonna read this volume when i do a face mask in a bit but yeah priority is my nails because they look shocking they look shocking i need to 
take off this varnish first and then stick on the press-ons. That's another thing. I'm not a very creative person, but when I get to like make things and see the result of things, it really makes me feel so happy. So when I made these press-ons, like I was like, oh my God, I made them. They don't look amazing, but you know, it saves me a lot of money compared to going to like a nail salon and that stuff. I'm not sure why my camera keeps on going in and out of focus. It's probably focusing on my lovely Ash right here. But um, yeah, today is a very busy weekend. Normally is more chill. Like when I say chill is literally got my headphones on, no one talks to me and I just get cracking with all the stuff that I love. And yeah, I just, I like to immerse myself in things that I love. So I forget about everything. But yeah, I don't know why lately I've just haven't been feeling that great. Like there's so many things that I think is going great in my life, but there's just a thing, I don't know, I just feel a bit disappointed in myself. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit being a bit TMI. Legit shambles, I cannot find my nail glue. So I need to head out quickly and find a shop that sells nail glue and I'll be back. I'll be back, I promise. Oh my god, I don't have a lot of time. What am I doing? How am I vlogging this? I thought this was going to be a chilled weekend, but turns out too productive than what i expected did not see this come in but um yeah i'm gonna check online first where i can buy a nail glue and i'll be back absolutely lulls right now as i'm on a time crunch i thought yeah good idea let me show you my typical talkie life but who would have thought who would have thought that i'll be out now rushing okay let's go I realised the other one that I picked up isn't what I want. Maybe this will work. Fingers crossed. So I just done my nails. I was gonna do a face mask and read some manga, but I was so short on time as I'd have run out to buy the glue. So now I need to quickly put on my makeup, put on a dress and then pick up my friend. So I guess the manga will have to wait till later. I still want to know what happened in volume two in Oshinoko. Like I, I don't know where the story is gonna go. There's the way volume one did it, it could have been a one shot, you know, and could have left on a cliffhanger. But yeah, I'm really curious how the story is gonna go. But um, yeah, back to reality, need to get ready. So I'll check you guys in, in a bit. Hello, I look completely different from early in the vlog, but currently it is 11.28 and I'm just gonna take off my makeup and shower. I think I'll probably continue this vlog tomorrow as I still really want to just relax and do things that I love as I wasn't able to manage to do it this weekend. But um, yeah, I'm super tired, had a great time and um, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. The nails are so good though, they've lasted so well. And I think they're gonna probably last for like maybe a whole week until my birthday actually. So yeah, they're so cute. But yeah, hope you guys are well. I'm so tired. I'm gonna take my makeup off. Um, I still wanna read Oshinoko, Do, shall I? Right, so today, shaka, it's a Sunday, and it's currently 10.05 p.m. It is Sunday the 4th of August. It's been two weeks, exactly, I think, since I last update you guys. Guys, I've been so busy. This only couple hours I'm having is the only me time I've had in two weeks I literally can cry like it really fits very well to this theme of this vlog of an otaku chasing the weekends as I really haven't had time to myself I've literally just started my August spread of updating my um diary and also my journal of what's going on what I need to do and it looks bare like my other months look so much fuller 
but um yeah have Ian said July was a busy month and um yeah August oh I'm in London literally I don't know if you can see I'm in London here I'm in London this week next week well this week is already a new week already I've been so in and out of London that I haven't had time to even do anything that I need to get done and yeah <laughs> If you've seen in my last clip, probably I was talking about Oshinoko. Can you believe it? I still haven't read Oshinoko Volume 2, which I am going to do now as... Um, why do I have my sunnies on? By the way, I just came back from a barbecue. I've been so busy that I haven't had any time to myself and this week is going to be another busy one. I have a lot of work-related stuff that is going on that I'm nervous about. I need to prep for. Like, there's loads of things. And... Um, also home situation there's a lot for me to sort out as well but um other than that i'm finally free for a couple hours just before i wash my hair and go to bed and start my working week again i look like a, why do i look so weird my head is like kind of let me just fluff it up a bit oh my god i look like a mess <laughs> It's been a long day. Oh, I was like running errands as well, going to Ikea and then went to a barbecue and then now I am here, finally at home. But yeah, finally, literally, I think all I've been waiting for throughout the whole of July is to continue reading this. And I've heard there is some like thing going on. Basically, I catched up with my best friend and she loved Oshinoko. She told me about Oshinoko first, saying like, oh my god, Tiff, I read this and then there's an anime out. And then this was months ago, probably sometime last year or even before that. And I've, I've been meaning to read this and I only read like volume one a couple of weeks ago when I was updating you guys. And I loved the first volume, but I'm not sure how the story is going to continue. Also, Turns out there's a whole thing about this in the manga community that I have no idea about. I don't know, my friend didn't really go into detail. So I'm just gonna keep on reading and see how it goes. I only have three volumes of this. So once I'm off my ban, I'll definitely jump on the bandwagon and pick up the rest of the volumes. Like, oh, it was it Friday? Like, I think Friday after a stressful day of work, Caitlin did a manga buying stream on Sci-Fi and I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. There was so, I think prices have gone down recently and I feel like I'm really missing out, but I'm like, hold on to it. I still have one more month to go and then I am ready to do my stream. I need to schedule it and I need to hype it up because it's a big thing, you know. I've been saving all this time to do a fat stream and yeah, oh, and also Ami Ami, that... It's been bad, guys. I'll probably do, like, another update once one of my Ami Ami parcels arrive. Uh, <laughs> two of them already have been shipped. I haven't got the tracking yet. But, um, yeah. A lot has been going on. And let me know down below how you are finding this vlog. As this is, like, a whole month vlog of me just going through life. Chasing for my weekends. Somehow, all of it has just been ending up on Sundays. As Saturdays, I've been too busy or I haven't even been bed rotting. That's the thing, I've been so productive. Like the week before was my birthday week and I was so busy, I was going everywhere. And yeah, today is my only day <laughs> that's to myself. I only have a couple hours left of the day. I only have two hours left of the day, can you believe it? So I'm gonna spend an hour reading volume two, let you know how I feel. And yeah, it's been good, you know, like, this otaku life I really can't wait I don't know it's been draining like I, I love seeing people that I love but I really need my own time and this is the only time I have and I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time and I can't wait and I am gonna start now I'm gonna set a timer now and see how long it's gonna take me to read volume two and volume three is gonna have to wait I think yeah because i still need to shower maybe i'll read it before bed but um yeah i think i will stop the vlog soon as it's been a whole month of me and you're probably tired of me it's probably a very long video i hope you don't mind let me know if you want more videos like this in the future but um yeah i've been trying something new and it, i think it's a good way as well as i'm not as active anymore and i'm trying to get back into youtube game it's kind of good i'm showing you like glimpses of my week but um, what am I trying to do? Time? Get, get the volume in hand, okay? Can't waste no time. Ready, steady, go. Okay, started. 
It's so really volume two. Let's go. I really like reading the character like page, the first page sometimes for a little update of what's going on, but everything's very fresh on my mind still, so we're gonna read the chapter. Right, I'm going into the second chapter volume. It's been 15 minutes, so that sounds about right. So far, I'm enjoying this volume. Definitely like volume one here with a bang. So I was thinking like, how are they gonna do a bang each every volume? But I guess this part is just more getting to story now. So yeah, as I said, I won't put any spoilers up or anything. So yeah, it's best to go into series blind sometimes. And I think this is a one to go in blind for sure to enjoy it to the fullest. Damn, I am so tired. Oh, I wish I had more energy. I need coffee. I am on the last page for the chapter before the last, I hope. And it's been 35 minutes, which is not too bad. So this might be a 45 minute read. So yeah, chapter 19. Let's go, really enjoying it so far. Okay, that was the final chapter of volume two. I enjoyed it. Okay, that was, I say a 3.5 out of five. Or should I give it a four? Like, I don't know. The first volume was so good that volume two was more getting into the story and like seeing how things go. So I really want to read volume three, but my head is banging now like I need to wash my hair I look like a mess I need to shower am I even in focus this whole time probably not I need to shower now get ready for bed like I said it's a long week ahead of me there's not a lot of hours in a day and yeah I just need to get a lot done oh but that that really was a nice hour actually it wasn't even an hour let me just stop there it was oh I lost it oh there it is I didn't lose it in the end, it took me 43 minutes to read one volume, which is not bad, actually. I thought it would take a whole hour. I really enjoyed it. I was lost in another world for 43 minutes, which was great. And <laughs> this is what I love about reading manga. Like, I'm a binge reader, but lately I haven't had any time to binge read, which makes me really sad. Like, I don't think you can see my volumes down there, but I have Yona the Dorm down below and um, my plan was to binge read it for june we're already in august now so fingers crossed yeah fingers crossed i'm gonna schedule to some time and binge read the first 40 volumes of union dawn in september if you want to join me let me know i'll probably do some like live streams or some videos of every like 10 volumes to update you guys i'm gonna do it very chill as normally when i get into buddy reads i don't know about you guys but for me it's like it's like a pressuring a feeling that I need to read it by today and lately with how my life is going nothing is in order I cannot even plan or foresee what's gonna happen in the future like yeah there's so much to do I have a whole checklist that I need to work on I still need to update my manga spreadsheet which I'll probably do another day but yeah that is it with me chasing the weekends this is gonna be on repeat for a while where i'm gonna be constantly chasing over the weekends as your gal's a busy gal and i think i've been repeating myself too much now you guys already know and yeah that was so nice that was so nice having me time do you guys ever feel that like ugh. I don't know, lately I haven't had any me time and I just need to block out the whole world, like put everything on silence. To be honest, I'm always on do not disturb. That's why I don't pick up any calls or messages, but also my notifications on my phone is a bit funny, like it's whack. I don't, I don't get any notifications or messages, so I am slow at replying unless I am on the app itself. But yeah, that was a great volume. I can't tell you much because I really want people who haven't read the series to go into it blind and then maybe I can do a full review video of Oshinoko in a separate video 
where I do full on spoilers and maybe we can do like a maybe actually maybe even a live stream where we just discuss it and put my thoughts down on the table I really want to watch the anime now as well but knowing me I probably prefer reading all the manga before starting the anime or I'll probably give the first episode a go should I give the first episode a go? I'm just scared that once I really like that first episode, I want to binge watch the anime. But um, I shouldn't really do that because, yeah, reading manga for me gives me more, like, satisfaction. And, yeah, it just sticks in my head longer as well. But, yeah, that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am a very tired otaku right now. I am exhausted. I, <laughs> I need to recharge. Like, where's my cable? Like... <laughs> just charge me up in it but um yeah. what am i doing so weird but yeah i'm gonna shower and end this vlog and yeah thank you so so much for watching i hope you guys have a great day and a great week and i'll see you next time in the next video thank you see ya bye